would have ever thought that Jesus Christ would have a conversation with Allah? Who would have ever thought? Because we thought Jesus Christ has a, had a conversation with God. Where? On the cross, right? On the cross uh, at the River Jordan, you know? Before the cross, when his tears turned to blood, I thought that is when he had conversations with God. But apparently, he had a conversation with Allah. I don't know which conversation is this one. Is it the one I know? Or is it not the one I know? I'm about to find out in a few minutes. We are reacting to the conversation between Jesus and Allah. And I hope you guys are ready. Without further ado, Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I don't know what that means. I was told to say that. Apparently, it's a greeting in Islam. So, salamu alaikum. Let's go straight into it, y'all. Let's go. Let's get it. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. يوم يجمع الله الرسل فيقول ماذا أجبتم قالوا لا علم لنا إنك أنت علام الغيوب يوم يجمع الله الرسل فيقول ماذا أجبتم قالوا لا علم لنا إنك أنت علام الغيوب. guys like you know like I said in the previous video there's something about the Quran being recited it it just makes everything makes sense it just resonates with you I, I don't know how but you resonate with it when the Quran is being recited I don't know which verse of the Quran this is but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm go I think I'm gonna start over the video when I rewatch it and I'm gonna see which verse of the Quran this is and uh, see if I can study it for myself but let's continue oh, إذ قال الله يا عيسى ابن مريم اذكر نعمتي عليك وعلى والدتك إذ أيتك إذ أيتك بروح القدس تكلم الناس في المهد وكهلا وإذ علمتك الكتاب والحكمة والتوراة والإنجيل وإذ تخلق من الطين كهيئة الطير بإذني فتنفخ فيها فتكون طيرا بإذني وتبرئ الأكمه والأبرص بإذني. Whoa. What he just said now that Jesus healed all those who had leprosy, Jesus restored the blind, they restored their sight, and Allah is saying all of that you did through my permission it was not the will of jesus to do those things it wasn't just out of the blue hey let me just do this it was permitted and it was permissible by the will of the almighty allah let's continue وَإِذْ تُخْرِجُ الْمَوْتَى بِإِذْنِي وَإِذْ كَفَفْتُ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ عَنْكَ إِذْ جِئْتَهُمْ بِالْبَيْنَاتِ فَقَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْهُمْ إِنْ هَذَا إِلَّا سِحْرٌ مُبِينٌ وَإِذْ أَوْحَيْتُ Yep, yep, he did say that, like I said at the beginning of the video, at the River Jordan. This is my son, hear ye him, right? This is my messenger, hear ye him. So I agree with that, I agree with that, I agree with that. Let's continue though. Muslimun. <laughs> 
إذ قال الحواريون يا عيسى ابن مريم هل يستطيع ربك هل يستطيع ربك أن ينزل علينا مائدة من السماء قال اتقوا الله إن كنتم مؤمنين قالوا نريد أن نأكل منها وتطمئن قلوبنا ونعلم أن قد صدقتنا ونكون عليها من الشاهدين قال عيسى ابن مريم اللهم ربنا اللهم ربنا أنزل علينا مائدة من السماء تكون تكون لنا عيدا لأولنا وآخرنا وآية منك وارزقنا وأنت خير الرازقين قال الله I don't know how this also relates to the time that Jesus fed the 5,000. I don't know how it, it, it relates to that. I don't know how the, the, the multiplying of fish and the bread and feeding of the thousands uh, comes into this. I'm not sure if maybe it relates to when he was talking to Allah to send bread as it's saying right now with the disciples i don't know how it correlates or goes hand in hand but i think it might be going hand in hand let's continue though <laughs> أعذبه عذابا فإني أعذبه عذابا لا أعذبه أحدا من العالمين وإذ قال الله يا عيسى ابن مريم أأنت قلت this is where it gets interesting. Oh Jesus, son of Mary, did you say to the people, take me and my mother as deities besides Allah? Comes back now to the Roman Catholic belief system where they actually, in my view, my opinion, they glorify Mary, the mother of Jesus, as the mother of God, if I can put it like that, and they also glorify Jesus Christ. So here now, Allah is saying, is asking this question. He's asking Jesus this question. Did you say to the people that they must take you and your mother as deities? Hmm. Let's continue, guys. It's getting interesting. <laughs> قال سبحانك ما يكون لي ما يكون لي أن أقول ما ليس لي بحق إن كنت قلته فقد علمته تعلم ما في نفسي ولا أعلم ما في نفسك إنك أنت علام الغيوب ما قلت لهم إلا ما أمرتني به أن اعبدوا الله ربي وربكم. You know, I keep stopping this because I keep getting this revelation from reading this. It keeps going back to the doings and the workings of Jesus that he was always talking about the Father. Worship the Father. Follow the Father. He has never spoken of himself except when he spoke of himself as a reference. Because Jesus was a messenger of God, he had to lead a path, 
that led back to God, that led back to the Father. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father, right? He was always leading people back to the Father. But let's continue. وكنت عليهم شهيدا ما دمت فيهم فلما توفيتني كنت أنت الرقيب عليهم وأنت على كل شيء شهيد إن تعذب إن تعذبهم إن تعذبهم فإنهم عبادك إن تعذبهم فإنهم عبادك تعذبهم فإنهم عبادك وإن تغفر لهم فإنك أنت العزيز الحكيم قال الله هذا يوم ينفع الصادقين صدقهم يوم ينفع الصادقين صدقهم لهم جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها أبدا رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه ذلك الفوز العظيم لله ملك السماوات والأرض وما فيهم وهو على كل شيء قدير. There you have it, guys. The conversation between Jesus and Allah. Indeed, He is all competent, He is all knowing, He is all wise. That is Allah, that is God, the Creator. He is all of that. But in this conversation with Jesus, all that I'm seeing is that Jesus referenced and Jesus revered the Father. Jesus always spoke about God, the Creator. He always led people back to God, the Creator. He has never, ever made himself somebody greater than that that is why even on the cross as they said to him if you are indeed the son of god save yourself and save us as well instead of him doing something to save himself he had to do the will of the father he had to do as he said right there you saw it what god had commanded everything he did was commanded by god everything he did he knew was known first by God. The conversation between Jesus and Allah. We're going to end it here. I learned a lot. And I still intend on learning even more. Keep subscribing. Keep liking the videos. It goes a long way. And also keep suggesting more videos that will help me learn more about the Islamic faith and the difference between Islam as well as Christianity. Without further ado, see you guys on our next video. Love you. Peace.